Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you enjoyed that track. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking it out. Now, I think it's a lot of fun sometimes to take a track that doesn't really have much percussion to begin with and kind of make it your own, but really uh, spend a lot of time kind of making sure that you're not overplaying the track too much. Uh, on, on a normal track that already has a lot of drums on it or on a pop song or something, like having some fun playing some fills is, is just kind of what you do. You have some fun with it. but. 
on a track like this, it's really nice to kind of lay back and um, just kind of feel it out and have, have a little fun with it, but at the same time kind of hold back a little bit. And so I like to do that every once in a while. It's good for, uh, good for the creating ideas as a drummer and good for just kind of working on fitting a song, especially if like you're used to overplaying stuff on different pop songs. And I mean, this is still a little overplayed towards the end and stuff, but I wanted to make it interesting for people who aren't really into that style of music as much. So for the setup, I also wanted to do this song because I was still, I just finished my uh, Blurred Lines cover yesterday, and so I was still in the kick, snare, hats kind of setup with a cowbell. So I wanted to change it up a little bit, add in a few more cymbal sounds, and put in the tambourine, and pick a song that was pretty chill. And so this song kind of fit that, and uh, my friend Stacy Hiles asked for this track, so I uh, jammed that one out. Now. The cymbal setup for today is the biggest change. Uh, I'm using my Zildjian A Custom Splashes, the 8 inch and the 10 inch. And for me, I really feel like the A Custom Splashes are some of the most musical splashes from Zildjian. Um, they're probably my favorite sound and they just sound so good together. The, uh, the A Series splash I have is nice and the K Custom Hybrid splash that I have also sounds really good. But these are just extremely I don't really even know how to describe it. They have a nice wash to it. They have a nice little way of cutting into the mix and adding a little bit of musicality to it. I'm playing on the 14 and a quarter inch K Custom Hybrid Hi-Hats again. These are by far my favorite Hi-Hats that I've ever played. Um, they're just, they're so beautiful. They have such a nice uh, chink sound to them. They have such a nice uh, touch and, and a really good wash to them as well. I didn't really, didn't play them open that much this time, but really like those hats. And then on the right hand side I'm using two separate rides and that was one of the most intriguing things about this setup was I'm using my 23 inch Zildjian A series Sweet Ride which is just an absolute banger when it comes to washing on it, to riding on it and uh, it also has a nice ping to it but the K Custom Hybrid Ride, the 21 inch I have over here has an even sweeter ping in my opinion and so I wanted to use that for the the kind of top just simple groove kind of stuff and then use the sweet ride for the wash and then up top I've got the A uh, 20 inch Thin Crash by Zildjian and that just has an excellent wash and fits really well with the wash of the sweet ride. Other than that I am once again playing the 22 by 18 inch kick drum and 14 by 5 and half inch snare drum from the Pearl Export series and then I've got the Pearl um, I always forget the name of this thing. It's like the, the quick mount tambourine, but it's got this new grip on it that you can kind of hold it in your hand even easier. It's a nice little tambourine. And Remo Emperor X on the top of the snare, Remo Power Sonic on the kick, and I was playing with what is left of my uh, Vic First Buddy Rich Sticks. I've been beating the crap out of them for the past few days, and it's amazing they're still alive, but good sticks. So that's the setup for today. Let me know down in the comments section if you have an idea for a new setup or if you have a new idea for um, something for me to play or to do. And uh, let me know if you enjoyed this cover. Also, check out the featured drummer and have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe for more. Thank you.